Water bottles in your car. Chick-fil-A wrappers in your car. Come on, y'all, let's be honest. Dirty clothes, I gotta go to gym. I, okay, I'll get them. Every time you walk in that car, you're like, oh my God, what is that smell? Oh, that's me. It, but in somebody else's car? If this ain't your temple, it's the temple of the Holy Spirit. How are you treating it? Y'all remember last week I told y'all that we had three settings we needed to be in. The setting of faith, a setting of friends, and a setting of spiritual formation. I brought the setting of uh, faith back up here because this is the house of God. So, so this is a temple, okay? I'm gonna move this out the way because we don't need these clothes no more. I need everybody to see this. Yeah. If this is the temple, the house of God, I'm just going to start acting how we be acting with our bodies in the house. My favorite is Chinese food and ketchup. Why are you so bothered? Who going to clean it? Yeah, this is just the house of God. It's just a house. Just a house. Just a house. Who cares? <laughs> I lift my hands in the sanctuary. I lift my hands to give you the glory. I lift my hands to give praise. And we will praise you. Don't care so much. It's just a temple. Syrup all over the communion. Don't care so much. Over the Bible too. Y'all stop acting like you care about this. Let me man. Stop acting like this matters to you. On the picture, I need to do some artwork on the picture. See? Uh oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Ah. Ooh. When I got into the mess, it affected the way I walk outside of it. Is this a subway sandwich or foot long? Dang. I hope I didn't hit a band member. It's just a temple. Stop acting bothered. You don't care. You don't care. We don't care about this. Ugh. 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 What'd you say? We get it. No, you don't. It's been 40 years. Yo, every time I do this, you act like it's a new revelation. Yet, yet they told us we eat three meals a day. And every time we do this, nobody says nothing. We get it. Now I need eight volunteers to come sit in this. Come here, big dog. All right, I got eight. All right, y'all sit down. All right, y'all sit down. What's your name, bro? Angel. Angel. Yes, Pastor. Mo. Sir. What's your name? Hold on, hold on. Just stay right here. What's your name? Kendrick. Kendrick, come on. Come on, sister. What's your name? Kelsey, so nice to meet you. Y'all come here. Come on, just stand right here. Y'all stand. What's your name? Ariana. Ariana, and what's your name? Brandy. Brandy, and what's your name? Sheree. Sheree, and what's your name? Dominique. Everybody, just stand. Just stand so I can still see this. Main of me. Come on, this is good. Come on. To make these people who actually got up and washed their face, brushed their teeth, and look cute to go sit in that mess. Yet every single day. 
we make the Holy Spirit inhabit a place that we do not care about making sure it's clean. The fact that these people even came up here is a testimony to how hard it would be because I said, I need eight, I need eight people to help me. Everybody was like, ah, oh, you thought you was getting something. And I said, I need you to come sit in this. And everybody was like, oh. Thank you for being the eight out of millions who would be willing to be a living sacrifice. And this is, this is now, 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 here, here what I'm saying is they, they could be up here just because they want to be on TV, okay? So, <laughs> I don't know. But I just wanted to make a picture. There's a lot less people willing to sit in the mess, yet the Holy Spirit sits with us every day. Thank you, guys. Will y'all give it up for them? I'm not going to make y'all sit in it. needs to be awakened to the fact that as long as we are in this Christian walk, there will be something that God is trying to get off of us. Okay? So hear me. And I, I know a lot of y'all used to me running around, jumping around and doing all the other stuff. And you're like, man, this is different. Just watching him sit there. I am not going to walk around all week looking crazy because I wasn't still enough to be in the place that I needed to be to get cut on. And the crazy thing about a correcting cut, many times God uses other people to correct us. And you would be fine if it was God Almighty. The big man upstairs wanted to correct me. He know how to get my attention and he sent you a wife. And he gave you kids. You okay, buddy? You, you good right there? Do I, need to, do I need to stop for a second? Because you know you're on the front part. Okay. I'm going to just take a second. I'm going to pause for the calls. <laughs> All right. Oh, hold on, you can't? Okay. I'm just going, they're going to have to wait. <laughs> now we saying wait on the Lord. And I told him to cut an area. And as soon as he started, I moved. No, 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 no. I'll wait on you. I'll wait on you. I'll wait on you. I'll wait on you. I'll, go, I'll wait on you. This is how a lot of our Christian life looks. That God has you in a position, he's trying to cut on you. He's trying to do something and every time, and then you start doing stuff like this. What if you kind of like, like what if, what if he, no, 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 what if you kind of like, turn it on. No. No. You know why God doesn't turn on a lot of the blessings? It's because your hand is still on it. It's, it's because you trying to direct where it's going. He said, this will hurt you too much if I turn this on right now. If I turn on the favor, if I turn on the blessing, if I turn it on, I need you to sit. <laughs> 